From blue skies to gray skies, and once the clouds started moving in this afternoon, it did not take uh, very long to cover up the sky. That's the view we have. We started the newscast looking out over Carbondale. Now we're looking out over Mount Vernon. So uh, basically from end to end, you know, there's a lot of clouds out there. We talked about this yesterday, though. For the most part, what's moved in first are the high clouds. Generally, they don't produce much in the way of precipitation. But rain showers will be spreading across the region as we move through the evening hours. Threat tracker bar all the way to the bottom for tonight, though. Even though we're looking for widespread showers, the activity is overnight. There are fewer of us on the roads. We're not expecting heavy rain out of this. I just don't see it being a big impact, mostly because of timing. Tomorrow we expect to see frequent showers, but all of the updates I've read today looking like we'll see a few more breaks in between those showers that should allow water to get off roadways and that was the only real concern we had so once again threat tracker bar to the low mark and on friday i push it up just a little bit just because it looks like it's going to be a more steady rain now if this was a discomfort index i'd have friday pulled way out here windy cold and a steady light rain and it looks like it's going to be northeast winds keeping temperatures even colder on friday so very uncomfortable but not necessarily a big impact from it. Overnight tonight, the chance for rain goes up as we go through the night and winds will likely increase as we move through the night as well. Right now showing five to 10, but expect some gusts, 15 to 20 mile an hour gusts at different times coming in with the rain showers and temperatures falling through the 50s. So if you're out late this evening, even that discomfort index would be going up. We're showing low 60s right now. Got just a little bit warmer than what we had in the forecast. Saw some middle, even some upper for 60s today. That's all gone. When it leaves tonight, it's going to stay pretty miserable temperature wise for two or three days. 54 in Chicago right now, 60 in Little Rock. There's a whole lot of this sort of weather and there's part of the reason. Look at all of the clouds. This is a very large, slow moving storm system. Locally, all we're going to see is the low clouds and rain to the south. The chance are going to see some strong thunderstorms. For us, I think the big rain totals, and this is over two, two and a half days, likely going to be an inch to an inch and a half. We might have a couple of spots pick up more than that, but most of us should see less than an inch of rain. The heavier rain is showing up right now in the regional radar view south of Memphis. But look at that rain shield stretching all the way from south to north. So pretty easy to imagine. We're all going to see showers. We're not going to dodge this one. Forecast map show that idea. And then it's wave after wave. We'll roll through. We put a pause on around sunrise. You can also see in the isobars low pressure tomorrow morning is off to our west. So we see the southerly flow. Eventually it moves past and we're on that backside and that will be the cold flow. Temperatures may actually drop as we move through a Friday part to Saturday. But for tomorrow, we see waves of showers and then breaks in between. So we will get a little bit of dry time out there to be able to uh, run some errands or whatever it is we need to do. But the next couple of days, you are going to see rain. Showers tomorrow, but then we're just going to call it a plain old rain on Friday. It's on the light side, but it's going to be persistent. It turns into a chance for a few sprinkles, maybe a little drizzle on Saturday. That's to go along with strong north winds and temperatures hanging out in the 50s. Sunday still looks like the best half of the weekend and could actually turn off to be a really nice afternoon. That may linger into Monday. And then more chances for rain and cold temperatures and looking on down there. I mean, we're moving through the season. It's supposed to get colder, but starting to see some signs. We may see some real cold air out there a couple of weeks mm. away. Just a heads up so you're ready and not shocked. Okay, she needs to prepare herself. Yes. I do, bracing myself. <laughs> All right, thank you, Jim.